Here we go. <laughs> It's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup look for back to school. This is something that's going to be quick and easy. Uh, it's going to be really, really fast so that you can just go right out the door. It's not going to be fast on this video because I'm going to like go step by step and like tell you why I use the product and stuff like that. But if you can do this quickly, you should be able to do your makeup within five minutes. <laughs> I did this same exact look in high school and in college, so I know from experience that it's just very quick, simple, and easy, uh, very, very fast. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Tell me what you think down below in the comments, um, and request any more back to school videos, because I would love to do some. I'm trying to expand my horizons of YouTube and trying to get the best content up for you guys, so let me know. Don't forget to thumbs up if you are ready to go back to school, <laughs> or not. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going to use Pore Professional by Benefit, and this is just going to help with any pores and stuff that's on your face. I don't know how much it is exactly, and I'm trying to make this all drugstore, um, but you know, you can see if you can get like a sample size of it as well because I've had a sample size for so long and I loved it so much that I bought it so that's why I have it but um it's something that in school and high school and in college that I would pay to actually get because I loved it so much next I'm going to take NYX dark circle concealer and I'm going to take one of these triangle wedges sponge type of things I'm just going to dip it in and swoosh it in, you know? For me, having a dark under eye concealer is something that's so important because my under eyes, as you can see, are way darker. I have a lot of dark pigmentation underneath my eyes, so anything that can help conceal it to make me look like I'm more awake is always good. This doesn't take long if you use a sponge as well, so it's something that's fast and easy to do when you're getting ready in the morning. I even bring it up to my eyelids sometimes with just like the remaining product, not like a lot. Next I'm going to take the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Foundation and I'm in the color N4. Now in high school I use both like a beauty blender type of sponge and a brush. Um, for right now I've been using a brush and I think that it works perfectly fine. I think that um, it works really fast for me um, because this is something that you know, you want to get done really fast in the morning because when you have like 10 minutes to get ready, <laughs> you don't have like 20 minutes to do your makeup, you know? And then you want to make sure that you just bring like the remaining product down to your neck so that you don't have any um, lines because, you know, those aren't pretty. No. Next I'm going in with concealer. Then this is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. I'm in the color 30 Light slash Medium. Quick, easy, it doesn't have to be clean, it's just messy, you know. I'm taking the sponge again, the wedge, I'm just going to put that right underneath my eyes. So I'm not going for a full glam look, so I'm not trying to make my under eyes look super bright. I'm just trying to conceal them, I just want to make my face look natural. So I find that finding a concealer that matches your skin tone um, works really well. So it gives you a little bit of shine, a little bit of like a nice glow, so it makes your skin look healthy, which is always really good. Next, on to eyebrows. So I never have time to do my eyebrows, and luckily for me, I think that I have pretty good eyebrows. Like, I don't mind not going out with eyebrow makeup on, you know? So um, I just try to clean them up, so I take like a spoolie type of round brush like this, and I just like to brush them out. I usually brush the inner corners up and then the outer corners over, so I just kind of make them all blend in. And then same thing with this one. This is my problematic eye <laughs> on this eye. I don't know why. For some reason, the hair does not like to stay. And like this one, I feel like looks so good. This one, mm, not so much. This problematic eye. 
You can either use a shadow or a brow powder, like this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is really expensive. Um, it's more out of not in the drugstore range. So for today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor Eyebrow Pencil. Um, it's in the color Brunette. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to do a little, little strokes just to fill in my eyebrow. Just doing little strokes here and there just to fill in my eyebrow because um, my hairs are not always perfect, you know? And just to fill them in, it's like really nice because it helps really, you know, brighten up your face. Then after I just kind of brush them out again just to blend it all in. And if you can find a, uh, um, if you can find a powder then I would definitely suggest the powder over a pencil. That's just me. It's my personal preference. So next I'm going to go in with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And this really just helps, you know, your eye to shadow just stay on all day without creasing. You can, you can kind of tell, like, this side is, like, creasing more. And that's because I didn't put any eyeshadow base on. I love buying makeup when I have gift cards because then I feel like I can go out and buy makeup. Um, so whenever I have a birthday or something or any kind of holiday party, I always say I want a Sephora gift card. Always. And then that's when you can really save up to buy these things. One pressed powder that I really love is the Remmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressing Powder. I'm in the color Nude Beige. And I really love this because um, it's cheap. And I think it works really nice and it helps keep your face matte for, throughout the day so you don't have to worry about like sweating or anything like that, you know. So I always put it underneath my eyes at least. And then in my T-zone, like I just did. But to warm up my face, I always love to use bronzer. Um, it's just something because my skin tone on my body sometimes doesn't match my skin on my face like um, the colors you know so what I like to do is to contour my face in the morning and I did this throughout high school but I didn't really do contouring I just kind of used bronzer and just spread it all over my face which is like a terrible thing to do but I kind of used it as a pressed powder as well because it would just help um, you know brighten up my face and make it look like I'm not totally asleep yeah I'm using Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and I, this palette is great, I think. It's in the color Caramel Toffee, and I, I love it because it also has the yellow like banana powder as well, so that, that's really awesome too, um, to put underneath your eyes. Cracky. gonna help me glow a little bit more and help uh, with my skin pigmentation so going back to my eyes I don't really have a lot of drugstore eyeshadows I realized a lot of them are pretty old and gross now to use so what I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Naked Palette the first one because I'm sure a lot of people have this palette already um, it's something that is a staple was a staple for me it is still a staple um, in my makeup -ness of my eyes so I really only go in with like two or three shadows and uh, it's really really fast uh, the first one is naked and as you can see I've reached pan so I just take that and I put that all over my lid this is such a great base color I wish it came in like a single I haven't checked if it has actually uh, but if it did, I would get it and use it practically every single time I did my makeup. Next, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to take Buck, which is like the next um, matte color. It's the only other matte color that's in this palette. It's really good to do um, a crease color. So I'm just going to go in there quickly and put that in my crease. And then just to add a little bit of shimmer and shine, I just take side cart and I put that right on my lid. 
So next I'm going to take the MAC Carbon color. This is just a plain black and I'm pretty sure it is um, not limited edition but this is limited edition packaging. It had Corella DeVille on it. It's like gone. It's sad. And this is something that I did all throughout high school was use a shadow to do my eyeliner um and it stayed on all day it looked like eyeliner and everything and it was way faster to do um, because you had full control with the brush so that really helps you cut back time if you want to try to do eyeliner in the morning so that's something that you can do so last but not least, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara in the color N200, which I believe is just carbon black. It's like black is black. I love mascara so much, and if there was something that I could only do in the morning was put on, it would probably be concealer and mascara, and that's it. And those would be my days where I wake up like with five minutes to spare um, without eating or getting dressed or anything like that. So that's like a little thing. Mascara goes a long way. So my favorite lipstick, I don't know why, but forever and always, like I would always use MAC Angel to uh, wear to school, so I'm going to put that on today as well. I don't know why, because I mean, honestly, it's, it's an okay lipstick now, but um, I think it was because Kim Kardashian wore it like a lot, so I was like, oh my god, Kim Kardashian. And then lastly, I just use my MAC Studio Fix Plus, and I didn't have this for a while, so I guess I can't really say I used it in my morning routines for school, but if you can pick up one of these little babies, these are $8, I think. Um, this would be great because it helps set your makeup and it will last all day. Mm. That's like the best feeling ever. Alright, so that is my makeup look. Um, I just like doing quick and easy little simple things. It's something that I have so packed down that I was able to get up probably 10 minutes before school, go and do my makeup, like my whole face, and then get out, go eat, get dressed, and do my hair real quick. I usually put it up in a bun like this. Because... This hair is difficult. <laughs> Alright, so that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know if you want any more back to school videos. Um, I would love to film some. I'm really trying to expand my horizons with all my videos because I want to make sure that I can get a little bit of something for everybody. Um, so let me know. So I hope everyone has a really awesome school year. This is so sad for me only because I'm done with school for the rest of my life. <laughs> I just graduated college, so I won't be going back to school. It's just so sad. I want to go back to school. So don't forget to subscribe. You can click the link right there, or you can go down here or here, somewhere around the screen. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!